Hello YouTubers and welcome back to Deals Prime Review Channel. This is a uh, part two for the OnePlus and this is a 2.5 gigahertz quad core phone and uh, we just now uh, got down with part one where we did a live and two benchmark test, show you the build of the phone, accessories and then we showed you some of the icons and we started to do some of the settings. Now in this review we're just going to finish off uh, checking out the uh, settings and uh, and then we'll do some web browsing to show the phone in action. I want to remind you guys to like our video. Also, subscribe to the Deals Prime Review channel. And uh, since we're here, I'll just show you the Antutu benchmark results, uh, just in case you haven't seen the first review. It, again, it'll just be really, I'll just show you the device info, and uh, I'll just scroll through that actually. So uh, you can pause your screen anywhere that you like. So OnePlus, Qualcomm Snapdragon 801 CPU, Adreno 330 GPU, 1920 by 1080 pixel resolution screen, 13 megapixel camera. It does have root access, but it does not come uh, pre-rooted. 3 gigabytes DDR3 RAM with about 2 gigabytes free. 16 gigabytes ROM with about 12 gigabytes free. 2.5 gigahertz CPU, which again is the fastest uh, phone that I've uh, reviewed or seen ever. 5.5 inch IPS screen, 5 megapixel camera on the front, and we showed you the camera in part 1, we, we took a picture, and this is the firmware version, now this is running Android 4.4, so uh, we'll update our description, supports GPS, Bluetooth 4.0, and uh, again it gets that, uh, it gets this, the score is basically the highest score that I've ever seen and uh, does support uh, NFC. This is again, this is the highest score I've ever seen. So uh, check out part one and uh, you can see the full M22 benchmark test. Okay, now uh, we just now went through all the icons so we'll actually only just pause, you can pause the screen here if you want to see all the icons. And we're going to go into the settings right now. This does have a uh, Play Store and settings. Okay, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. We showed you the mobile networks where you can turn on the uh, 4G LTE. Now one thing I do want to check out is the display because I just want to make sure, yeah, this is not all the way bright. Okay, so this is a lot brighter now. Okay, and we go back and we go into the apps and you can see some of the gigabytes here, 11 gigabytes uh, free 1.3 gigabytes used. Two gigabytes DDR3 RAM with about one gigabyte used. And here are all the uh, apps. So we'll just scroll through these: Android FX, Bluetooth Share, Chrome, Cloud Print, Simon God Account, DevTools. Documents, Gmail, Play Store, Google Plus, NFC service, Print Spooler, Sound Recorder, Street View. And this is System UI, it's uh looks like it's uh <laughs> KitKat. Yeah, Android four point four point two. Talkback and YouTube. Okay, and this does have multi-languages. Check out part one to see the languages and uh, here's something just more about the phone. The firmware and the base band versions. The build. Okay, now this was last updated on July 7th, so only a couple of days ago. So again, this is the TD, this is, sorry, this is the 4G LTE version for U US and Europe, basically everywhere it works everywhere except it works in China as well, but this is the the uh, international model, so it works everywhere. Okay, now let's just do some web browsing, and then we'll uh, we'll kind of uh, we'll wrap up this review. Our first review was like 15 minutes, so uh, we've already covered a lot, but uh, just wanted to. Uh, This is our mobile site, which uh, I kind of like our uh, 
or standalone side a little bit better, but we'll just open up a couple other windows and uh, some tabs. And I uh, will just show you the, the Snapdragon 2.5 gigahertz CPU in action. Okay, so nice and fast there. And again, you can see it has a nice high resolution screen. I believe 1920 by 1080 is what uh, Intel just now said. And we'll just open up a couple of other, well, that's, looks like it's been closed. We'll do a couple other sites. Again, this, yeah, there's a there's a G sensor on that. Go to MTV, and it's also good to show the IPS screen on that site because it has a nice contrast in colors, and so you can see that the IPS screen it basically uh, not only is it really vivid, but it's uh, anti glare and it has a 178 degree viewing angle. So uh, that's another cool thing about this phone. Okay, so nice and clear, nice and high definition. And this is a has a Gorilla uh, Gorilla uh, Corning three screen, so Gorilla Glass. So that's another uh, hot thing. It just means that the screen is really durable and won't break, and it's uh, high quality. And we'll just go to maybe go to a couple other uh, just local sites. Okay, now uh, as you can see here that uh, our Wi-Fi router is, is actually, yesterday we're, we did a review on the Ino BW12 and uh, we're actually going to have to redo that video just because our, our Wi-Fi router has uh, issues around this time. But uh, again, you can just see that this uh, the phone, it's, uh, it's really fast and See Google's blocked here as well, so it's not a good good site. So here we can see it's on this uh, OnePlus on uh, Deals Prime, and again it's uh, again it's a one uh, 4G LTE phone. Here are some of the specs. Okay, so uh, all in all, like I definitely I did I, at a nine out of ten, I get this phone a nine point nine. Just because, um, just the hardware, the the user interface, uh, the build. Uh, what else is good about this? Let's see, if we can go to. Some, I'm trying to think of some other sites that we can maybe try. It's kind of hard to get uh, a lot of international stuff where we are right now. Hmm. Let me try Yahoo. Okay, yeah, so it looks like we're definitely um maybe having a little bit of issues with our uh with our Wi Fi. But uh Okay guys, I think we'll just uh, wrap this uh, review up right now. Uh, make sure to like our video, subscribe, and there's a link to this OnePlus inside of our YouTube video description. Thanks for watching.